I'll do a video of a brand new 2017 model. It's 24 foot in length. It's got a 15 foot box and a 9 foot porch. It's 8.5 foot wide, 7.5 foot height. This uh, trailer here already has a smoker mounted on the porch as you can see. We'll do a quick walk around. If you want any more information, you can email me. My name is Marty. My email address is mlj963 at gmail.com. I can answer more questions through my email. I don't answer too many here on YouTube because the trailers just change too quick, including the prices. So, have a great day and thanks for watching. It's got the 5,000 pound axles. Electric brakes all the way around it. Floor on these new open rail porches are all metal. The only wood I put in it was right there in that step. The uh, rest of it's a solid 316 sheet metal, diamond tread. It's got the flip down tailgate. Makes easy access to the smoker. It can also be used to set up a table, set your generator on, whatever. Got jack stands on it. Also got stabilizer jacks under the trainer. Got wheelie bars on it. Boogie bars. So uh, you won't scrape bottom. Beautiful color red. Got the 50 amp plug in it, motor base plug, twist plug. It comes with a 25 foot cord that plugs right into the generator or it'll plug into a 50 amp service panel on site. Here's the water hatch. It's lockable to keep people out of it and want nobody contaminating your water. You got your city or gravity fill here and then you put a hose to it here for your city fill. That right there you put a hose to it you got pressure that there fills your tank up. It's got the V-nose slant. Fight some of that wind resistance going down the road. Triple tongue. Extended. Two and five sixteenths ball. It's got a five and a half by three and a half foot window with the awning glass screens. This countertop here is removable. These uh, slide sideways, which I prefer so much better than the type to slide up and down. Yeah, I changed these trailers to an open rail for several reasons. One, uh, it's, it keeps the smoker a lot cooler. Uh, second reason, I wanted to do away with walls because the walls had wood in them and metal. Wood wasn't good and I should kept the trailer inside. And it's now all metal now. That back part there's a little heavy, but I'm fixing to put a spring assist on it. So we don't buy it first. The smoker here is a T design. It has the firebox on the bottom. So all your heat's going to go directly up into the chamber. It's also insulated. And it has burners inside. There's two of them. 60,000 BTUs a piece. Got needle valves right here to control it. You can shut one off. You don't want to burn them both. 
You can also got extra space over here. You can put charcoal or some wood. You can put some wood right above it in an iron skillet, get smoked, whatever will suit. Let the customer figure that one out. Okay, we're going to show how this hoist works because these lids on these are very heavy. So what we did, we hooked up a hoist to it. And of course it makes it just so much easier to lift it. that button right there. And it's got three large five foot I think 30 inches wide at the bottom shelf. They're all five foot wide. There's three of them. You get a little bit narrower as they go up. Plenty of room to cook though. There's a baffle on the bottom of this, you see. Smoke will come from that end and from that end. That baffle is also removable, so you can clean down in there. Um, it's got a drain right here to drain it. Drain the trash out once it cleans out. Okay, we'll drop her back down with touch of a button. get a whole lot easier than that. It's got a damper up here. Of course you turn the damper. You see it out there turning. And to hold it up, you just pull this counterweight off the side there and that'll keep it up. You want to go back down, the counterweight up. And you control the damper on it which when I'm using gas I don't open a whole lot treat it like an oven 100 pound propane tank put the gas on the inside two stage regulator got a shut off valve there you got a T in it there in case you want to go to the smoker with it later of course the smoker has the tanks don't come with it, them are mine, but it has two separate regulators. Also got needle valves here, turning off, on and off. A pinch iron pipe on top. Walk inside, a 36 inch door. Start off, we got a 24 inch griddle or range with four burners. Adjustable pilot lights. You got a, this is your flat griddle here, three quarter inch thick, bulletproof, won't warp. Watch what you buy, sometimes you'll get a half inch or even thinner. That'll be a lot cheaper in price, it's quite a cheaper. There's your little clean out there, shelf down here to catch it. Same thing, got adjustable pilot lights. It's got two burners in it. A double basket deep fryer here. One tub, double basket. Very large baskets. Nickel plated so they don't rust. Thermostatically controlled down here. Easy to light. On a heavy duty equipment stand. Everything's bolted to the floor. All the equipment's bolted to it. The deep fryer has a quick connect, disconnect on it, so you can uh, disconnect it. Take it out in and clean it because it does get smelly sometimes. Got all coated hoses, which is what code requires. Mold resistant fan. Controlled right here, that turns it on. And this turns it down. That way if you ain't using everything, you can just turn the volume down on speed. Flip it off right there. There's your light. Two lights in it. 
got the E-Track there behind the refrigerator and freezer. You can see it's commercial freezer and freeze, refrigerator. It's got wheels lockable. Uh, upright, got the compressor on the front and the bottom to keep it cool. Closes on its own, it's got locks. You got employees you can't trust for whatever reason. This unit here has a glass door refrigerator. It's got the LED lighting in it, that way you can see real good inside of it before you open the door. You won't have to waste no air. It's all bolted or strapped to the wall here, as you can see. This unit here has a 50 amp service, but it has a 100 amp panel in it. It's got breakers on just about everything. Well, you ain't got to be flipping breakers. Burn your trailer up. For instance, here in the V-nose, you got four receptacles. I got a breaker on them two and a breaker on them two. So you can come across here with shelving in this V-nose. Popcorn machines, hot dog rollers, microwave. You gotta worry about blowing breakers all the time. Got two switches here, that's for your hot water, that's for your pump. You don't need it on if you got city water, but if you got your tank full, then uh, you have to turn that pump on right there. And once it's on, you just turn this on it and the water will come on. That's called on demand. And you shut it off and it'll shut off. You don't have to turn that off right there. That's on there for hot water so you can drain hot water and turn it off while you're filling it back up so you don't bust the element in it by filling it up when it's hot. Soap dispenser, paper towel dispenser. Of course you got your triple sinks. 14 by 14, 10 deep. 10 by 14, I believe 5D. Got a couple access doors here from underneath. Here's your cord for your outside service. Six gallon hot water pump, electric. Back here's your on demand water pump. And plugs back there for your hot water and your pump. There's your holding tank. It's about 35 gallon. Place back there to drain it, drain the hot water. If you're living cold climates, or if you just sit for a while and you want to drain it, you don't want that sitting in there too long. P trap over there. All aluminum walls, they're insulated, aluminum ceilings, and aluminum diamond tread flooring. Wall, wall makes it so much easier to clean. Drill your hole over one of them corners right there. Just put your hose in here and hose this out. You ain't got to worry about it. Got a serving counter here to window. All right on these. Our screen, our screen and windows. Two four foot fluorescent lighting in here. I tried LEDs, that didn't work. You want fluorescent, it makes these white walls just so much brighter. You got an extra vent here in case you, in case you uh, got a little extra smoke coming from that grill or something you may need to vent out. It's there. That's your air conditioner over here. Rooftop 13,500 BTUs. Much needed. You could put another one right there if you wanted, but of course it'd probably end up up the fan, so. You got a Purple K fire extinguisher there for grease. It's for grease fires. It's 10 pound. And you got a work table right here, a 4 foot by 24 work table. You also got a space right here. And these are on separate breakers also. You can put the refrigerator freezer over here or a sandwich prep or a hot tub uh, for hot foods or something like that. There's room there for that though.
Don't pass this one up. It's ready as of today. We're in the middle of July. This trailer won't be here in another week, so after that, don't even ask for it, but I can get more. Thanks for watching once again. Have a great day.